Here, amidst the pulse of production activity, some of the world's largest aircraft assemblies are made. And detailed sections are carefully integrated to shape the newest of the wide-body jetliners, the L-1011 TriStar. Courtline, whose brilliant livery marks the TriStar in the foreground, will be the first inclusive tour airline in Europe to introduce air travel aboard this advanced transport. Production and flight test center for Lockheed's TriStar is located in Palmdale, California, some 50 miles north and east of Los Angeles, about 20 minutes by air from Lockheed's headquarters in Burbank. These new facilities, constructed especially to accommodate final assembly and flight testing of the L-1011, comprise nine buildings and nearly a million and 300,000 square feet under roof. They incorporate the most advanced concepts in aircraft production and logistic support. The main assembly building affords more than 868,000 square feet of working space, large enough for production of future transports twice the size of the TriStar. Long before aircraft production began, years of research testing and evaluation were translated into today's final TriStar design. 66 different configurations were considered and over 20,000 hours of testing in seven different wind tunnels, both low and high speed, helped to establish the most efficient aerodynamic configuration. All functional subsystems were approved in this full-scale vehicle system simulator. Flight controls, hydraulic, and electrical systems, avionics, and the landing gear system. The structural integrity of the landing gear had been tested under simulated landing speeds and aircraft load conditions in excess of FAA requirements. Egan static testing of two complete airframes demonstrated that the L-1011 structure will endure over 20 years of airline operation. More than 50,000 simulated flights will be flown in the fatigue test aircraft alone. An extensive flight test program involving five different aircraft conducted over a span of 18 months. Amassed more hours of flight test performance. Literally millions of data points were analyzed. One of the more spectacular tests was the tail dragger test by which minimum liftoff speed is determined. Flights at varying gross weights and at different flap settings were made to obtain takeoff performance factors and to establish runway length requirements at different weights. During the flutter test program, the aircraft equipped with flutter vanes on the wingtips was deliberately subjected to bending and torsion loads at various altitudes and at maximum speeds to determine how quickly the airframe dampens out oscillations. The findings showed good structural dampening characteristics. And now let's take a brief look at the manufacturing sequence for the TriStar. Fuselage growth starts with the mid-body segment, built around the wing box and keelson forward and aft sections are attached. Followed by the flight station. Installation of interior components and functional systems begin once the after body is added. Then the fuselage emerges from the paint shop with its distinctive colors and markings. 
Halcyon Breeze is the second TriStar ordered by Courtline. After mating the fuselage to the wings, the empennage is attached, as well as the main and nose landing gear. One of the last major production steps is installing the three Rolls-Royce RB211 engines, two wing-mounted and one in the aft fuselage. Installation of interior trim, side and ceiling panels, carpeting, passenger seats and functional systems is then completed. When all systems have been ground tested, preparations get underway for the flight test program. The first TriStar for Courtline, dubbed Halcyon Days, took to the air for the very first time on January 28, 1973. During that first flight and subsequent ones before delivery to Courtline, Lockheed test pilots checked the airworthiness, general handling responses, engine performance, and made certain that all systems functioned in optimum readiness. Particular attention has been directed to producing a self-sufficient airplane for Courtline, with such special features as eight wide Type A doors, four on each side, making access to the aircraft quick and easy. Three self-powered conveyor belt type cargo loaders to expedite baggage handling. and electrically operated onboard stairs. They are stowed in the center cargo compartment, quickly unfold and move into position for passenger embarking or deplaning, thus eliminating the need for any ground support equipment. Tenebrest seating gives an economic plus by providing accommodations for 400 passengers. The cabin, nearly 20 feet wide, is 60% wider than Courtline's present jets. And the cabin height of nearly 8 feet gives an additional feeling of spaciousness. The flight station provides a cinematic view and comfortable working space for the crew with controls and instruments at carefully selected locations. Food service will be prepared in the below deck galley equipped with modern advanced ovens, freezers and facilities for two meal service.
a wider selection of duty-free goods will be available for purchase aboard the TriStar. And the trolleys can be replenished from a storage area in the below deck galley, which is connected to the main cabin by two electric lifts. In addition to these features, Courtline's TriStar will have a 200 gallon potable water supply sufficient for a complete round trip as far as 2,000 nautical miles from Luton. The impressively quiet performance of the TriStar's RB211 Rolls-Royce engines, each producing 42,000 pounds of thrust, will allow it quieter movements from Luton Airport, a unique tribute in itself. The TriStar's extensive world tour to the UK, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, totaling 65,000 miles, demonstrated the ease of operation from a variety of airports and under a wide range of conditions. These flights put the L-1011 to a good test for Courtline Airline service, scheduled to begin in April this year. Halcyon holiday travelers cruising aboard the TriStar at 600 miles an hour will be carried to the luring sunspots that dot the Mediterranean. The resort hotels, the beaches, the varied attractions that make these locations a mecca for European travelers. It will be a great summer in 73 when the Lockheed TriStar with its passenger comfort, quiet performance, self-sufficient features, and operating economics makes its debut in Europe. Courtline will again prove itself a leader as an inclusive tour carrier.